My name is uh, Shreske Kutnikar. I am from CSE. It's um, Kalputur Institute of uh, Technology, uh, Tiptur. Uh, my technical seminar uh, topic is uh, Parkinson's disease diagnosis using machine learning and voice. Uh, the content of uh, these topics are as uh, follows. Introduction, problem statement, objective, uh, existing system, proposed system, methodology, results, and conclusion. First of all, uh, we need to know what is uh, Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder that affects predominantly dopamine, producing neuron in a specific area of the brain called nigra. Systems generally develop slowly worse here. Uh, the progression of the system is often a bit different from one person to the another. Now, due to the diversity of the disease, people with Parkinson's disease may experience dreamer difficulty in speaking, jaw fitness, poor balance. Poor balance. Now, due to decrease in motor control, that is the, the hallmark of the disease voice and can be used as a means to detect and diagnose the uh, Parkinson disease. Problem statement. Uh, the main uh, defects of Parkinson's disease, disease speech or loss of intensity, uh, monotony of uh, speech and uh, loudness and reduced stress inappropriate silence, short rush of speech variable rate. Parkinson's disease is difficult to detect early, early due to the subtle initial symptoms. There is a significant burden to patients on the healthcare system due to the delay in diagnosis. The difficult in early Parkinson's disease diagnosis has inspired researchers to develop a screening tool relying on uh, automated algorithms to um, differentiate health controls from people with Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. Objectives of uh, this uh, seminar. Um, with the help of voice as input, machine learning algorithm is going to predict whether the patient have the Parkinson's disease or not. With the better accuracy rate, the current research is promising the first step towards a long-term goal of providing a decision support algorithm for physicians in screening patients for PD, where we are going to apply several different machine learning models to classify Parkinson's disease from control using the Empower voice dataset. Literature survey. The data used for analysis were collected through uh, Empower, a client observational study conducted by a Sage bio network using the iPhone app to collect digital biomarkers and health data on patients both with a with and without um, uh, Parkinson's disease to maintain user confidentially and enable linking across the databases. Each patient was uniquely identified with a distinct health code. The method used for collecting the audio data was a smartphone voice activity that records patients, um, patients voice uh, from the phone for about 10 seconds. Uh, the Empower database is broken down into several uh, small datasets uh, that were used in this study to characterize the PD features. Uh, typically, the system of uh, symptoms of uh, Parkinson's disease or uh, attenuated by the use of uh, dopaminergic uh, medicines such as uh, levodopa. During the data collections, the patients were asked uh, uh, to give information uh, regarding uh, when uh, related to um, taking medicines. They provide their data. Uh, the options include uh, just uh, uh, options include just after PD medications, uh, another time, um, medical time point, immediate before PD medications, I don't take a PD medications, uh, etc. Uh, after time of worse symptoms, not on medications are not applicable respectively. This information survey lead to three groups of patients and data as shown in the figure. As shown in the uh, figure, patients that had uh, medications prior to the voice test were not used as uh, uh, patients in this analysis. The uh, relation for the parameter selection is that the voice of the patients will be depict the most extreme effect of the Parkinson's disease with the effect of any medication.
methodology uh, prior to being fed into the feature extraction algorithm the raw audio was uh, cleaned with the voice box voice activation and detection vid algorithm actively to extract and remove background noise of the audio this uh, uh, pre-processing step was required in order to pass only raw voice into the audio feature extraction algorithm this cleaner uh, audio was then passed through to separate algorithm for feature extraction before being put into the machine learning algorithm as shown in this figure AVAC feature extractions audio visualization emotion recognition challenge uh, method drawn from audio visualization emo, emotion recognition challenge AVAC from 2013 were used for a preliminary audio analysis and the method of minimum redundancy maximum relevance MRMP was applied to this AVAC 2013 audio features MRMR extract the most relevant features of a given data set respect to an output class while minimizing the redundancy machine learning models uh, machine learning uh, uh, classifiers were examined to find the highest uh, categorical accuracy for Parkinson disease uh, machine learning classification models. Uh, we in, in this uh, uh, model we make use of uh, the decision tree, uh, which include a random forest standard decision tree, gradient boosted decision tree, extra tree classifiers, support vector machines, SVM, deep artificial neural network. Um, another uh, uh, popular and powerful classifier is the support vector machine SVM. SVM uh, much like logistic uh, regression aim to construct an uh, optimal separating uh, hyperlane in future hyperlane in future uh, hyperlane in uh, future uh, the kernel metric project the data into a higher dimensions where it becomes linear separable. Uh, fitting uh, an SVM involves uh, uh, hyper tuning parameters C and Y lambda lambda defines the influence of a data points higher values make the model more global and lower values mean data point affects a smaller local group C is the regulation parameter which uh, uh, detects the smoothness of the model lower values of C corresponds to a smoother and uh, simpler model but uh, uh, that may have more uh, misclassified uh, data points. Higher values of a C will uh, accurately classify uh, more data points by increasing the, the complexity of the model. This figure reviews uh, um, the um, ANAC model, uh, GMAPS model. Results. Scores of uh, recalls, precisions, and F1 were used over the training set for model selection. During the co course of the study, the materials are defined in equations. Uh, the following equations, uh, these equations are uh, given. Uh, in these uh, equations, uh, TP stands for uh, true or positive, TN stands for true negative, FP stands for false positive, and FN stands for uh, false negative. The training and the testing set were split in 80% training and 10% testing. All models used satisfied 10 fold cross validation in order to estimate bias in splitting the test and training set. The data shown in the tables are average of 10 fold cross validate results plus or minus one standard deviation. Figure The figure shows the operating characterizes curve for one split of the training and testing data which includes the AUC matrix given in the legend. The classifiers that are set to perform well outperformed other classifiers in the same matrix or received a higher than 75% score in a particular matrix.
Recent artificial neural network, the ROC curve would demonstrate a clear trend that all machine learning models were gaining a year. AUC score and uh, generating better separation between the classes with the APEC features showing a more easily separated classes than the GMAPS dataset. Conclusion Disease diagnosis and the prediction is possible through automated machine learning. Uh, um, machine learning using only one. Uh, Innovation voice biomaker as a feature. Our analysis provides a comparison of the effectiveness of various machine learning classifiers in disease diagnosis with noise and high dimensional data. After the, after the feature selections, clinical level accuracy is possible. These results are promising because they may introduce novel means to assess patients' health and neurological diseases using the voice data. Due to the high accuracy performed by the model um, with these short audio clips, there is a reason to believe denser future cells with the spoken word, video, or the other uh, modality would head in disease prediction and the clinical validation of diagnosis in future. Thank you.